So we're back. We've got a couple of the sets. We've got the Fast and the Furious set, uh, one to five. Everybody was going crazy about that. Some people weren't sure about it. That's one of the reasons I bought it. That's the second, and that's the third. For me, that's a home run. For me to have the NSX, the Skyline, and the 40, it's just phenomenal. I mean, look at that RF200, it's absolutely stunning. I, I know everybody's going mad for the toy of it. It's all right, it's cool, it's retro, it's nice, but I get it. And I'm just, for me, even though that is a thing of beauty, we've seen them a lot. But they can just keep putting in sports cars, so they've got to have a mix. I do get that. Um, we'll go through this in a minute. And then the second set um, with off roaders, we've got the Toyota, and then we've got the Toyota Runner. Or if you want to be smart, Ford Runner. The Mercedes G Class. So is that like a G wagon? Let's see. It's tidy. So nice. Sorry. I've just opened these, so when you see me sort of geeking out, I just I just think they're gorgeous. The Bel Air. So these are the sort of gassers. I've got a lot of the sort of what were ones of these, but that's the first premium the one I've got. The Bel Air bigger. Um, and then you get the Range Rover Classic. So let's get the tripod set up and we'll have a closer look. I don't know how good this is going to work, but we're going to try it. So the set in the back from my last video, if you're interested, go and have a wee nosy. So here we are, the Fast and the Furious set. As I said, one to five. Um, with obviously I've got no chase hat. Um, but yeah. So it's very, very cool. So we've got the Toyota. Lovely. 40. Stunning. I mean, come on. Beautiful. 1970 Plymouth. Kuda. Thing of beauty, but just, I just, I'm not really, I don't know. This is the one that I would have been grabbing. There would have been probably not a lot of these lying on the shelf. People see the word Skyline, they go daft. And then we've got the pick of the bunch for me. Um, it would be between the RS200 and this NSX. I love the Honda NSX in its day. Um, I just think they're stunning. Beautiful. So we hit pause. I'm going straight back in my closer look at the Toyota Land Cruiser from 2005. Again, the card art's really worth showing. Then you get the 2018 Toyota 4Runner. Beautiful. Not as nice as the Land Cruiser for me. I like retro sometimes, apart from the muscle cars and stuff, which I only really like, you know, like Eleanor, or, you know, like the 40s and the, the proper things, not like Shelby's and all the rest of it. But I'm not really clued up with a lot of the older ones. I, I know a few of the models, thanks to the Hot Wheels, you know, like the Plymouth Roadrunner and all these stuff, but I don't know much about cars. I don't even drive. And um, then you've got the gasser, and then number four. Beautiful colour, though. I like the headlamps. So obviously these are all off-roaders, aren't they? So it's a beautiful set. And this is probably, colour-wise, the pick of the bunch for me. So you've got the, the 315 aside. It's just a lot of detail going on there. A lot. So I'll be two seconds. I'll be right back. So I think for me, when you're thinking about muscle cars, I mean, we live in the UK. If you're not a car nut, you're not going to be as clued up as you should be. Um, but when you grew up with things like the old, you know, Ford Escorts and Sierra Cosworths and stuff, um, so you always remember them going about. But what I will say about the the muscle cars is some of them are so iconic, like in Gone in 60 Seconds, John Wick, um, Bullet, Steve McQueen, just all these things. I've seen them all, but I just, I'm probably not as knowledgeable about them as I'd like to be. But again, I'm not a car nut, I'm a toy nut. And I like cars, and it's a wee bit of a mix. Um, Favourite car in the world, Ferrari F40, Jaguar X220, XJ220, and the McLaren um, F1. So that was the sort of genre that I grew up with. That was the sort of era where it was um, Lamborghini Countaches and Lamborghini Diablos and all these things. And then to be honest with you, it's the same in music. So much stuff gets released now, you can't keep up. So I'm not a car nut. My friend Matthew is. Um, and I've got another couple of people in my private life that are really, really big car people. Um, but for me personally, it's just more of a hobby. So please never um, slag me if I get something wrong. I'm just showing you these because, well, in case you want to go and get them. You know, from uh, I got these from the Ultimate Diecast Garage. Ultimate Diecast Garage. Um, but yeah, all you need to do is type in Hot Wheels Premium and that's what comes up. Yes, I'm showing you a very, very thorough look, but... This was a nice fast video compared to some of my 10 minute ones. So there we go. And that was a wee overview of the two sets I got in the last box. And I'm glad I split them up now. And that was the last video if you're interested. Um, and I do do other stuff as well. So don't always think it's just um, Hot Wheels or just Pops. But thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And whenever you see this, have a great day. Cheers.